Okay, hello. I'm Brian. Hi. I'd like to show you um, how fast a Intel G4560, uh, I believe that's what it's called. It's the new Intel 7th generation CPU uh, Pentium. It's one of, I believe, two Pentium processors that support hyperthreading. So you can get this processor and uh, achieve essentially i3 performance, but it's very cheap. Very, very cheap. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this PC on that I just built with a G4560 and a um, actually West, uh, yeah, a Western Digital uh, M.2 SSD. Western Digital's making uh, SSDs now, and uh, they're really good. So let's take a look. I'm going to turn this PC on. I'm going to switch my 4K monitor to the proper input, and we're going to see how long this thing takes to boot up. So. First Okay, so again, this is the Intel G4560. We're going to do a, just a pure uh, Windows reboot on a uh, M.2 SSD. And we're going to see what we get. Wow, that was pretty fucking fast. Once again, we're going to do both these PCs on a pure restart. Here we have the Intel 3770K overclocked 4.2 gigahertz with 16 megabytes, uh, excuse me, 16 gigabytes of uh, 2133 megahertz RAM. Here we have the Intel G4560 7th generation CPU against 3rd generation with 8 gigabytes of uh, also 2133 MHz RAM. So we are going to do a pure reboot against a regular SSD on an old i7 with a new SSD on a new Pentium. Let's see what happens. Okay, you can see this test was a little bit different. Um, first of all, this one booted straight to Windows. Well, this one did as well, but it requires a password. Uh, obviously, this one booted faster because of the SSD. You could see some similarities in the CPU. This one would definitely boot faster with the same SSD, but this generation of CPU unfortunately doesn't really support this generation of SSD so you know figure it out guys